Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming uh, to the first lecture of the fall series of the Mini Medical School. Uh, my name is Daria Motamity. I'm one of the assistant professors of clinical radiology here at UCSF. Uh, my specialization is orthopedic imaging or musculoskeletal imaging. And I will be speaking to you today about imaging common sports-related injuries. Um, my colleague, Tara Morgan, will be speaking next on musculoskeletal ultrasound. And without further ado, my goal is to make this as uh, close to a medical school experience as possible. So there's going to be a lot of imaging, a lot of, uh, of material to get through. Um, and we'll do the best we can. Um, and by the end of this lecture, there are three questions that I want you to be able to answer uh, without a second thought. And I'll present to you the questions here first. Question one um, being this image. This is, I will tell you, of the knee. And the, the question being, what plane of imaging is shown here? This is an MRI of the knee. And uh, again, what plane of imaging is shown here? The options being a sagittal MRI plane, a coronal MRI plane, an axial plane, or none of the above. Second question, again, an MRI, again, of the knee. Now you can see the, the appearance of this uh, image is quite different. The question in this case is, what type of MRI is being shown here, a T1, a T2, a T1 with fat suppression, or a T2 with fat suppression? And while at first I think some of these uh, terms may be foreign, by the end of this lecture, my hope is that you'll really be able to, to answer these quite confidently. <laughs> 